Let's go to the East. Interesting here because yeah. you've got UCLA and North Carolina, two teams peaking at the perfect time. And you've got David versus Goliath with Purdue against the Fighting Peacocks of St. Peter. St. Peter's will have a, a home crowd. They're going to have a ton of people coming in from New Jersey and Philadelphia. All the Northeast fans are going to be rooting for them. But needless to say here, this is not Matt just Pitt. not just this Northeast fans for the record. Every single person that is wearing yes. North Carolina blue or UCLA oh, yeah. blue are going to be rooting for St. Peter's. Purdue yes. travels like crazy. They hit a great fan base. They are going to be playing a definitive road game in Philadelphia this weekend. All right, let me ask you this, Randolph Childress. I'm going to tee it up like this. Mm -hmm. Fact or fiction? The Purdue Boilermakers are finally going to make a Final Four under Matt Painter. Fiction. Oh, my. Oh, my! Why? He loves UCLA. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, I, I know. He loves I, I think, UCLA. I think I got to. I, I like UCLA, and and I'm concerned with the way Carolina's playing right now. And I I love the guard play and the bodies that they can use to throw at, you know, Jaden Ivey. I, I think they got multiple guys to, to, to if Carolina if Carolina comes across them. But what you know, Tiger Campbell was really he was a closer and a finisher, and he he provides that elite point guard play. They're going to play someone with with that with R.J. Davis and Tiger Campbell playing elite point guard play in that game was the one position that Purdue's vulnerable in. Yeah, and I, I, and mean, I, I, and I, I think that'd be tough for them. Yeah, I I I I think I agree with the matchup being a problem, um, but I don't know if one I don't know if Johnny Juzang is healthy. Uh, he sprained his ankle and, and you know, he's, he's had ankle problems all year. And when he's not playing great, I think it really lowers the ceiling of what UCLA can be because he provides so much defensively and on the glass. Like they have other shot makers that can step up, but he's he's kind of a difference maker with kind of that. He's a little bit of a glue guy. Um, and I think that North Carolina and Purdue just match up so well together. And then if you go down the matchups, I think that that. Purdue has the better players in almost every position except for the point guard spot. And that could be, end up being the difference maker. You know, we've seen it over and over and over again with Purdue, where if you have a great point guard, uh, they can really take advantage of you. The only thing I would say is I thought that they looked much better defensively against, um, against Yale, which like you kind of expect, but then against Texas as well. I thought that they were really impressive on the end of the floor. Let's call spade a spade here. If not now for Purdue, then when? This is it right here. Your one and your two in this region are out. I know it's March Madness. I know anything can happen. I get that. I get that. But if you're Purdue, you have the size that they have. You have a, a lottery pick in Jaden Ivey. You've got the shooting capability that they possess. I totally respect North Carolina and UCLA. And for the record, I've got UCLA coming out of this region, provided that Ju Zhang's healthy. So, Randolph, I'm with you. I'm mm -hmm. with you, Randolph. But that being said, that doesn't change the fact that for Purdue, this is the golden opportunity to see, make I a Final Four, man. I don't they, see that. I, I don't know if I agree with that, Finn. I don't and the reason I don't Why? agree with that. How could you not agree with that? How could I, you I think, disagree? I think, I think this is a golden opportunity. I don't think it is yes. the golden opportunity. And I the think reason it is. I say that The reason I say that is because we've seen – We've seen a lot of very good teams out of Matt Painter. They came within a Kihei Clark miracle, that floater that he hit. Or, I'm sorry, uh, 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 Mamadi Diakite. If he doesn't hit that little floater, then Purdue is in the Final Four. Um, the year that Robbie Hummel got injured, they were the best team in the country. And they, I think they, they might have cut down the nets that season. Okay, so but this if, is, if, the, if the queen had balls, she'd be the king. No, I get what you're saying. Trust me, I get it. You, got, you actually have to go out there and do it, but – I think that Matt Painter puts this program in the position to have a chance to do that often enough that this isn't the um, this isn't the the only the only chance that he's going to have to be able to get there. I just think that that Nobody's program that 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 program is so healthy that they're going to uh, I, I just see them consistently putting out winners. And it's uh, to me, it's, it's the same thing as Gonzaga winning a national title. It's going to happen at some point because that program is too good not to have it happen eventually. But at the end of the day, you're only. Like, you're the best to never do it until you do it. So I think that that's kind of where Matt Painter is. Does that make sense? It makes sense, but it doesn't change my mindset of, I, I, like, Purdue, this is this is a setup here. I mean, I think Kansas probably has the best setup to get to the Final Four. 
and disagree. Do. Fanta, you're only saying that because they play St. Peter's, and I think they're finally they're they're the one team I don't want to see St. Peter's play. Right, so they're going to make the elite. Their, their size is just massive. Like yeah. this isn't about toughness. It's just <laughs> massive. They have nothing for Zaki. You know, for Zach Eady, they have nothing for Zach. But my, my my concern with them though is once you get through that one, you know, you get through that game. And like I've said to you all along, last game it was Travion against Texas. It was Travion Williams. He was the guy. He stepped up. He played great. But it's one or the other, and it's for me, it's just tough to say when when two of your three, your, your second and third best player play the same position. It's either one or the other, and I, and I think they'll get through St. Peter's. But if they play. You know, they beat Carolina early in the year. That's not the same team. There'll be motivation for Carolina to play that. And if, like we talked about, I like UCLA as well. There's no time like the present for Purdue. There's no time like the present. <laughs> we would all agree there. Well, we would all agree to that with, with each other and everything that we're doing. So, <laughs> I, I, I don't Look, know. I, I like that. the banter. The banter's good. I just, I don't know. I, I don't even think it's the same degree as Gonzaga – and the national title thing. I just, for me, it's like. <sighs> You're not going to have Jaden Ivy that often. So yeah, to, to your That's point, yes, I, mean. I, I get it. I get it. Yeah, you're, you're right. I, I'm not, I'm not necessarily disagreeing with you. I just think that Matt Painter is good enough. It's going to happen eventually. Like I would say for Ed Cooley, this is the golden opportunity to be able to have, like, it's not, I think it's easier to replicate what, per, what Purdue has done this season than it is to re, at, at what Matt Painter's done this season at Purdue than it is to replicate what Ed Cooley has done at Providence. Does that make sense? So I think this is the chance for, for Providence to go out and make it happen. And look, we can talk about this in the next segment. I think that they beat Kansas. Hey, I just want to let you guys know that this week's episodes of the Field of 68 After Dark are sponsored by Honey, which is the easiest way for you to save money when you are shopping on your phone or your computer. Have you ever been in this spot, guys? You're shopping for something online. You get to check out when it asks you for a promo code. You got to start Googling to try to find a way to save a little bit of money. Thanks to Honey, manually searching for coupon codes is a thing of the past because Honey is the free tool that scours the internet for you and finds the one that best fits your cart. Here's how it works. You're shopping. You check out the honey button pops up. You click apply coupons. You wait a few seconds. Boom. The price that you have to pay goes down. I use honey. I just bought my son all of his T-ball stuff uh, for this season um, over the weekend. And anyone with kids, RC, you can attest to this. You know how expensive all of that sports equipment is. But with Honey, I saved myself like a good 50 bucks. It was like $45 that I got off for free. It's so easy. It works on a desktop. It works on a laptop. It works on an iPhone. All you got to do is just activate it in your Safari app. So if you don't already have Honey, you could straight up be missing out on free cash. It's free cash, guys. By getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting this show. I'd never recommend something to you guys that I don't use. Get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash March Madness. That's joinhoney.com slash March Madness. The link is in the description below. 